Hi everybody, this is Susie. Hope everybody's doing well today. I have a beautiful DT kit to share with you. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see it either. <laughs> I know everything that Lily sends is so thought out beautifully and thoughtful and just really everything is so beautiful. Lily is the owner of the Shabby Lisa shop on uh, Zabet.com. Right now there's a sale of 20%, so I hope you can go on over to zabet.com slash Linica. I will post everything in the drop-down box below here where you can click on the link to the shop and get redirected and go on over and check things out and hopefully buy some beautiful things for yourself, for your crafting, or whatever other needs that you may use it for. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I have opened up the package that was sent but didn't actually fully take a little peek maybe that's about it oh my goodness this is so gorgeous oh Lily wow look at that isn't that stunning oh well, I'm hoping that you can see that clear enough I put a piece of velvet down so that it would look a little prettier than the bottom of my desk this is a white applique trim if you would um, it is the smaller uh, scallop side. It's probably about uh, 2 inches, 3 inches, and then about 6 inches. Um, I wanted to see if I had a ruler. If you can just bear with me for a tiny second here. Let me have something. Just to show you, because I know a lot of you ladies love to use like wedding trim and so on and get very shabby in your project. So, see, I was pretty close there. Um, that is six inches. That's a six inch ruler. Very, very beautiful. Thank you so much. It's actually the background of it is kind of like a sheer netting in white with um, white or silvery kind of clear sequence throughout the flowers um, can be used on any project or clothing just very stunning thank you so much that's so beautiful just gonna put that there oh how pretty and I think Tammy got this or Leone I'm not really sure how you guys <laughs> but I haven't received this in my other package and it's so beautiful look at that oh my goodness that is gorgeous this is really like a very pretty a uh, wide embroidered uh, kind of rosette flat flower scallop type of thing where you can probably cut these out um, and use them all separately or you can even gather them and use them as a ruffled lace trim and an off-white color very very beautiful I love that absolutely gorgeous Here is another very beautiful trim, and I believe I may have tried this in the past. This is probably about, let's see, I have my ruler here. Um, that looks like about three inches in the width. I'm just going to get a little closer on that. Very beautiful. That's a triple scalloped organza trim with very beautiful daisies with a leaf and, and um, stem beautiful I love that I'm taking them out of the bag for the first time so if you can just bear with me this is very beautiful wow oh my goodness I'm also seeing this for the first time you guys too so here we go this is a very modern looking trim I would say it's kind of like a lattice trim, but what I like about it is you, it looks like you have two different type trims here. One in like a lattice effect going down, like almost like, not really like an argyle, but very beautiful. And I like the little ovals up on top, so you have also the, the triple, three triple ovals here on the bottom. So it's almost having like three different trims. And again with the ruler... Uh, from end to end, this one is three inches in the width and is also in a not bright white, but kind of like an off-white color. Very beautiful. I'm just going to, forgive me, I, I, I try to be in order, but I have a, a small uh, working space here. So I'm just going to move some of these things up. 
This is very beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Excuse my arm. Very, very pretty. This too is um, from end to end. Uh, about three and three quarter inches in the width. Where you have that beautiful, beautiful um, scallop up on top, kind of like a zigzag here. And then you have all these little like teardrops hanging down that you can use uh, for anything on any project really, as well as the little circles and the daisy flower. You can do so much with this trim, really beautiful. I love that, Lily. This one is also uh, very embroidered. It's a cotton material. And I think that you can do a lot of layering with these, especially like behind flowers or even like this is a perfect time for a jean jacket. I mean, some of these little rosettes will look great on a jean jacket. Love it. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen this before. Okay. Isn't that so pretty? Wow. That's gorgeous. Again, you have this really, I absolutely adore anything in scallops. I just think it's so dressy and so sexy looking and romantic at the same token with a feminine touch with the little roses, embroidered white trim, really, really soft, great quality feel. I just love it. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try out some of this and make something. Oh, how pretty. Okay, the minute I saw this, I don't know why I was thinking like White Christmas. Because these little pieces here just remind me of like celebration of something. I love it. There's little tiny fringes and smaller ones and larger sizes with, again, this really pretty shimmery looking lattice that's up on top, like a, a, a trim that's in... um triangular and I love these little fringes so dainty so pretty and so soft and fresh and in a pearlized white I love it I'm just gonna move this I'm sorry it's so exciting when you get these packages oh my goodness this is so pretty I've never seen this before either Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my god, these look like little Christmas trees. Imagine just like making cards and using these. That's like an awesome idea. I think I'm going to try and do that. Um, how cool would that look just as like Christmas trees on a card and maybe spray some stickles on that? So pretty in a white color. You can also use the, the top part of the trim. Very pretty um, for something else. And they actually, the way they're entwined together, they look like little hearts on top of the scallops. But I love the Christmas tree look and that I'm calling it anyway. And from end to end, it is three inches. That is so, so beautiful. Thank you so much, Lily. What a beautiful, thoughtful package. Oh, I've, I've never gotten this one either. Oh, my goodness. This is so pretty. Aw. What a sweet person to send all these beautiful things. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. You can actually, I really think it's a great idea to, like, do up, like, a really nice, you know, turtlenecks are really in. Leather jackets are really in. I mean, I can totally see using this. As, as separate appliques, floral, like, splattered all over the back pockets of my jeans. Or even on the arms of, like, a long sleeve turtleneck. How cool would that look? I would like to try something like that. This is so beautiful. It's embroidered in white. And the outside is kind of like a, um, a sheer white mesh. Wow, I've never seen this one either. I mean, in person, that is. Oh, my God. That is so pretty. That is a bright white. Look at that. Wow. This is like totally bridal. Oh, I think it's gorgeous. And what I love about it, it's, these are like appliques on a trim. You can certainly use it as a trim or layering in some of your books or whatever you like to make. But I really like the idea that you can cut these pieces and use them for something else. I mean, you can, your mind can just... I've already got something in my mind. This is solid white as opposed to a lot of the other ones, which you can see in the colors, are more like an ivory. <gasps> Thank you so much. That is 
so, so stunningly gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at that. Very beautiful. Thank you. And one of the other ladies um, had this flower, I think. Maybe it was Tammy? Some, well, somebody had it, I think. I'm not sure. But this is a very beautiful flower. As you can see, it's like... Maybe Leone had it. I don't know. It's like the size of my hand. Very pretty. It almost looks like someone made it. It's got really pretty feathers going in different directions with shooting pearls and mesh and like a maybe nylon um, petals there all around. Just really beautiful. I love that. So pretty. That's very pretty. You can just put a pin on the back of that and wear it on your bag or your jacket or something. Very beautiful. I love that. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Lily. You're leaving me cry speechless here. Oh my God. This is so, so gorgeous. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is like um, like an ivory color. I'm going to go a little closer on that. How beautiful. These are like hearts. And in between the hearts, there's like scallops, like oval scallops. These are great trims. Really beautiful. And I really think that um, you can definitely also cut this up as well and use it. Uh, just use your imagination on different pieces of your projects. Anything. I mean, it's winter time. Anybody who's into like crocheting scarves, you can probably put some spray adhesive on this and iron it onto your scarf and have, you know, floating hearts all over. Just beautiful. Really pretty. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so, so beautiful. Did I already have this? Oh, I guess you sent me a little bit of extra. Thank you so much, Lily. I was saying, boy, it's beautiful. I think I saw it before. Yes, there is that, um, this uh, trim again. Lily had sent me some extra of this. Thank you very much. I, I love it when there's extra of something that's so beautiful like this because I don't have to make something small. Sometimes I get really carried away with my projects, larger size ones, and I, I, I need to sometimes make things that are smaller so that I can compensate for the lace sides because I want to make a full project, not sometimes, you know, chop things up. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so very much. And this is beautiful. Oh, look how pretty this is. I love stuff like that because these things you can break up and you can either use it all together, like putting it on a comb, you know, and, and wearing it at, um, like New Year's Eve or at a party, a confirmation, or even a wedding. It's pearlized little flowers that are almost like maybe poinsettias or daisies with pearlized shooting pearls and uh, a teardrop center is for the stamens inside the center of the flower and they're all on the wire so you can either cut them off or use them the way they are and last but not least this is uh, wrapped inside of lace I'm just excuse the plastic noise I'm going to take this out and um, show you what this is, but I think there might be something else. I'm seeing something in the bag there. How gorgeous is that? Oh my goodness. Oh, these are rhinestone, almost like a snowflake look, but they are rhinestone brooches. And let me just get my little ruler here. And these are not small friends. They are one and a half inches almost. Let me see. Wait, I'm sorry. Um, like one and a quarter inch in the width, uh, actually in the circumference all around. Uh, these are beautiful. And you know how today the boots are really in style. I mean, if they're booties or if they're... Um, ankle shoes that are closed or the open toe or even the knee size boots the riding boots imagine just opening this up and putting this on the side of your boot how hot that would look oh my god it's so totally gorgeous i mean i'm throwing fashion into the craft but why not right okay there's there's an envelope in here but let's just see what's in here oh my goodness there is something in here i wasn't sure 
<laughs> you making me crazy, girl. Oh, I, I, I am going to put the link to everybody's, um, all of the designers here at Shabby Wishes. I'm going to put their links at the bottom as well so you can see the different things that they have received and get inspiration from their channels and subscribe to them and hopefully as mine, mine as well. But I'm just going to back away a little bit here and show you what was inside of this package. Oh, how pretty this is. My goodness. Okay, let me just move that up a little bit. Oh, that is so beautiful. Look at that, huh? Oh, those are heart appliques. How pretty is that? So, so beautiful. Thank you so much, Lily. And now that I'm looking to see uh, what was with that, there are also like the children with the mommy, the daddy, and look at those, huh? Aren't those beautiful? They are an off-white color, and I don't know if I have the right side, which is the right side. Okay, I had the right side. So pretty, and there's little hearts around the hearts. There's daisies up on top of the hearts, and then there's like floating leaves on the side just really romantic looking very shabby uh, definitely can be used on any type of project i already have something in mind that i feel that may go well uh with this here so um i'm, I'm going to try those out thank you so very much lily and um these are really beautiful and forgive me that i do not know the names um of what these are but again i will put on my um, on my in the drop down box below I'm going to put um, the link to the store so you can click on that and you will certainly uh, find all of these and more um, at the store site and I would say these are probably some type of poinsettias um, no one says you have to use it as a poinsettia but I would say that you certainly can and I think that Layering them would look really pretty. I mean, I'm just talking off the top of my head here um, as far as doing something like this. But um, everyone, you know, tries different things along the way. But look how pretty that looks. You've got the brooch, you know, for the center of that flower. And you could just wear it like that. And when you don't want to wear it, you could take the brooch off. And you don't have to use the brooch for any type of attire, but I thought it would look nice. And, and you can just make the flowers the way you want or use them separately. And since these are fabric, you could even use avocado dyeing te technique. I have something like that on my Susie Crafter Designs YouTube page. Um, you can also spray them with any kinds of um, glitter mist or probably even paint them, I would think. Uh, or just have a fun time with them, using them as the color uh, the way they are now. And so, there you can see the most beautiful array of the goods that she sent me. Just absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm totally speechless, uh, Lily. I, I just really, um, this was one of the most beautiful packages. I'm not saying that I've ever gotten from you, because all of them are always very beautiful. But I'm I'm a little overwhelmed. It's very beautiful. I've um I've been very busy taking care of my mom. Um, a lot of things has happened and gone on, and I apologize to all of you for really not answering some emails and watching your videos. I know everyone out there is having a great time crafting, except for me. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get back into this full swing very soon. And please stay tuned and subscribe. Click the drop-down box below to get subscribed, to get on over to the store. And uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I am going to be making some beautiful things, sharing all of these goods with you, um, supporting uh, Shabbylicious, Zabette.com store, uh, which is uh, Lily's store. She also has a Facebook uh, group where you can uh, find that on Facebook, it's Shabbylicious. Just type the name and it will come up. Everything will be in the drop-down box below. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in today. I had a great time opening my package. And, um, Lily, again, thank you so much for everything. 